Hello, welcome back to another edition of Electric TV. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Giratano, and this is my dog, Bentley. What does Bentley, or man's best friend, have to do with the electrical industry? Well, there's a pilot program in Phoenix that exposes young people to the trade to the benefit of some very lucky dogs. What you're seeing might very well be the electrical workforce of the future. Although these kids are in the 6th through the 8th grade, they'll be young adults before we know it. And unlike what's been unfortunately become the norm in our high schools across America, the NECA IBEW Powering America team in Phoenix is determined to let students know, sooner than later, that a career in electrical construction is something worth considering. Our industry is a multi-billion dollar industry and growing. Uh, our members learn the skills to build high-rises, hospitals, water treatment plants, uh, stadiums, wind and solar farms. You really have to know your stuff to do what we do. The introductory mission to design and build real-life dog houses. The crew, a combination of real-life construction professionals, including apprentices from IBEW Local 640, to work alongside the kids and guide them through the process. Your safety goggles with you. The program is called CACTUS, short for Careers in Architecture, Construction, and Trades Uplifting Students. Who would make a good roofer? It's a brand new after-school pilot program being rolled out at Madison Park Middle School. And Deborah Margraf, the executive director of the Arizona chapter of NECA, is one of the professionals behind the effort. The architects created the design for the doghouse. They basically gave the students three or four designs to choose from what they wanted their doghouse to look like. The kids broke up in teams of four to five to build the doghouse. Um, I want to say we're going to end up with six doghouses when it's all said and done. But these aren't just any old doghouses. And these doghouses that we are doing will be solar powered and have air conditioning. They're very nice ones for Arizona summer and they will actually have heat sensors in them to be able to tell, you know, if it's hot enough outside, it'll decide, okay, they're on the air conditioning now. So the dog isn't too cold when it's cold out or isn't too hot when it's hot out. Apprentices from IBEW Local 640 are going through a role reversal of sorts, from students in our industry to volunteer teachers of these aspiring young electricians, all under the watchful eye of apprentice director Sean Hutchinson. It's kind of neat to see the apprentices are taking on, taking on the role of, uh, of the journeyman wireman in instructing their apprentice, the 7th and 8th grade middle school students, on how the uh, work practices are to be executed and how to do a project in a safe manner and get the light to turn on on the first, on the first try. Show them the wiring on it, the crimpers, the crimp tool, how to strip them and connect them together and terminate them properly so you don't have like a misconnection or anything. You got a kick out of it, they were really hopping out. And then we're gonna install the switch in here. So when the dog gets in there, he won't try to bite the wire and mess it up. Showing them the voltage of the solar panels, how the switch works, how the relay works. When the sun hits the solar panel, and it'll hit the uh, switch and it'll cause the fan to turn on, which will cool the dogs. Been able to do a lot by assembling the, uh, the solar panels to teach our friends how to build and manage a workplace. We are also learning how to handle materials. I think one really interesting part was to see how the system works. As the dog houses progressed from design to reality, a common thread for a successful project, any successful project, became clear to even the youngest new member of the construction industry. You can't just build everything by yourself. You have to have more than one person. Once completed, it was time for some return on the investment. The ROI in this project was a combination of silent auction and live auction for the finished dog houses. We are auctioning off these fine dog houses over here that were designed, built, painted, wired for solar power, and plumbed by students here at Park and the Cactus Program. So we're having a silent auction. Uh, you can get a place real inexpensively if you have a dog or if you think you're going to upset your spouse enough that you need a place to go, uh, come over here and you can get a dog house. While shoppers examined the new high-tech canine condos, it was time for everyone involved to reflect on a job well done. I think it just shows them the possibility of different careers. Like the trades are a good thing to get into right now, especially the demand for it. You use your hands all day and 
don't know, you just get a good feeling after you're done your job. So we're going to start the bidding on this one at $100. I got $100, $100 for the Puppy Palace. You know, it's meaning, really meaningful for the students to actually meet actual professionals that work in these uh, careers and really get to see who these people are and what they do and learn more about their careers so that it could potentially be an option for them when they, when they grow up. 210, 210, 210, 220, 230, 240. In our apprenticeship, you earn while you learn. Uh, our apprentices go to class and then they apply that classroom training on actual field skills. Um, when they turn out, they become journeyman wiremen. They're recognized as top professionals in their field. Uh, they take a lot of pride in being able to go around their cities and towns and say, I built this or I built that. We're going to need thousands of people uh, going forward because the uh, electrical trade isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Six. 600, 600, all the money from this goes into the back into this program. One of the goals from the leaders of the Cactus program is that we get this at more schools. Um, this is a pilot program, but our hope is that we can roll this out at other schools throughout the valley. Even $1,000, this doghouse. Hey, I'm gonna look into living in this thing. $1,000 going once, going twice, sold for $1,000. I rolled ones on electricity. I love electricity, I love building, and being able to meet real people, this is their professional job. They work every day, people that I aspire to be. You know, an even better ending to this story, the man who paid thousands of dollars to buy that doghouse turned right around and gave it back to our builder, Jackson. But we can't end this story without saying a very special thanks to our sponsors who were right alongside the Powering America NECA IBEW team the entire way. Milwaukee Tools, Border States, Independent Electrical Supply, 3M, Cannon and Wendt, Rosenden, and Gilbane, our GC on the project. That's all for this edition. Be sure to check us out on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information. For Bentley and myself, Dominic Giratano, we'll see you next time. <laughs>